This and Brilliance tip is from Embroidery Central. Now, perhaps you've seen that in Essentials, there's a basting box in the utility, and it will baste a design. See here, I've made it baste just the sunflowers. You have a similar tool if you have Enthusiast. Let's just quickly switch over to Enthusiast, and I'll show you how that works. If you have Enthusiast, you can tell because it has, because your Embrilliance has this little edit stitch tool at the top of the page. So let's open up. There's this little stitch editing tool here. That's not present when you have Essentials only. If you have Essentials and Enthusiast, you'll see all of the tools of Essentials and Enthusiast in the same window. So there's no need to flip back and forth. Okay, so we're talking about the basting box, and Essentials has a tool that will allow you to baste just one design. Enthusiast has a similar tool, but it's called Baste Hoop. Now, watch what happens when I use it, now that I have this design open. I go up to the Utility menu and choose Baste Hoop, and there it basted it all the way around the outer edge of the hoop, not around my small design. So. That's, that's what this tool does. You can change the size of it up to a point. So if I select that, you can see it in bold. And that is that is basted the hoop. And basically what that is useful for is to add more stability to your project so that you've got something else holding your fabrics together besides just the hoop. So it increases the stability and also is useful if you're doing floating where you actually don't hoop your fabric. If there's something that doesn't work in the hoop, um, floating is a useful tool, and the baste hoop is great for that purpose. So that's the basting box in Essentials and Enthusiast. This Embrilliance tip is from Embroider.com.